So, um, I'm delighted to uh, welcome all of you here for this um, one-day workshop on design-based research for uh, service science. And um, this workshop has been organized uh, in order to define a common framework for design-based research on service science uh, in the sense to make sure the uh, core competences that already exist at the level uh, of our uh, research department at Tudor, in the service science and innovation department, but also in other institutions such as the University of Luxembourg and the Public Research Center uh, Gabriel Lippmann. Service science is an emerging uh, discipline dedicated to the study of the design, engineering, management, and valuation of services. A discipline uh, which is of high importance for Luxembourg. As you know, uh, Luxembourg is very much oriented, or has a very much oriented service industry. And according to our National uh, Office of Statistics, STATEC, uh, more than 80% of Luxembourg's exports are services. Uh, contrary to most European countries that still export <coughs> mainly products. Um, since the 1950s, uh, the increase in Luxembourg's service exports has been up to over 8% per year, which is enormous. And this situation is really unique worldwide. And another characteristic uh, of, of Luxembourg's service industry is, it, is its diversity. Um, despite the image it may have from the, uh, from the fact that it's concentrated on the banking and finance uh, sector. Uh, sectors like uh, the logistics or the ITC uh, and media industry are two examples of uh, service industries in which Luxembourg is also very much active. Um, considering these particularities and its small size, Luxembourg is an ideal testing ground for new services. Uh, it should be only natural for Luxembourg to invest in service science research. Uh, and as you may remember, uh, by one year ago, uh, we had at uh, Tudor, at GFK, uh, a seminar workshop, one day workshop, with the Minister of Economy, <coughs> Mr. Kreke, by that time Minister of Economy, who um, wanted to have that discussion um, based on one year still before when the Department of Service Science and, Industry, uh, and Innovation was created and that we got the Pearl um, uh, Grant uh, with a proposed uh, assigned project. Uh, from that time on was raised the question, so that was two years ago, uh, what is the place of service innovation, service science in Luxembourg and how could uh, industry and mostly SMEs uh, could take benefit of um, funding instruments which were created by law of 2009 which, uh, on research and innovation which was specifically created for SMEs, and the question by that moment was uh, how can, uh, what is the definition finally of service science and of innovation in services so that uh, projects in this field could be selected. And that was an open question and uh, that was also a problem, problem in some sense to Tudor and also other research actors uh, in order to get uh, projects in this uh, uh, granting scheme. And so I'm very happy that uh, this uh, initiative by the Minister took, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, took some price and uh, got fruitful uh, results um, because uh, today uh, these discussions with the Minister of Economy, with Lux Innovation, uh, are in a, in a very good um, uh, pass. And one of the results is also this workshop which is got sponsored by the Fonds National de Recherche, uh, and uh, so that's uh, really important. So, before opening this, this workshop, um, I would like to welcome some people uh, which are not from uh, our uh, department here for, for Tudor, um, which are really 
great experts in, in the field. So I would like to welcome, and I had not yet the uh, possibility to do it before, Mr. Uh, Robert Winter, Professor Robert Winter from uh, University of um, St. Gallen, uh, and Professor George Romme from the Eindhoven University, um, University of Technology, who both are international uh, experts and who will give an overview of the international uh, trends in service uh, science. And then, if I remember well, uh, at least Mr. Um, Winter is also uh, part of the steering committee of uh, Eric Proper's uh, ASIGN project, and so he's uh, well aware about the whole story and all the discussions we might have before. Um, I also want to welcome our key partners from the University of Luxembourg, and normally Lucien Blessing should have been, should been here, uh, but uh, she, had an, um, an, uh, she had to, to, um, uh, to cancel her participation last uh, yesterday uh, at the last minute, and uh, that's very, uh, that's, um, but she uh, insisted on the importance, and uh, I know that there will be uh, contacts in the future on this uh, on, on, the, on this subject, um, and uh, sub the Gabriel Lippmann with Mr. Ojak. I have not he there, Benoit. Hello, um, who uh, I also welcome from our uh, fellow uh, public research center, Gabriel Lippmann. Well, and finally, I want to uh, to thank uh, the Fonds National de Recherche uh, for. Uh, supporting this uh, event, uh, and Andrea Monat, I have not yet seen her, uh, but uh, she uh, was announced to be here. So, um, this workshop will be split into two parts. Um, during the morning session, the keynote speakers uh, and international experts will outline the current state of design-based research, as well as related current debate in the field. Our topics uh, include science-based, instruments for service innovation, research problem formulation, building intervention and evaluation, and high quality methods to develop and improve service innovation, <coughs> and the last one will be communication of research results. In the afternoon, uh, interactive working sessions in small groups will allow you to apply and to discuss these different uh, topics um, which got presented in, in the morning. So before we begin, I also want to thank uh, all of your internal participants, researchers, PhD students. Um, I hope that by the end of the day, you will be able to share uh, the, this common framework we try to find, not only internally, but also with our partners. And in this sense, I wish you and a very pleasant, fruitful day. Let's work hard on it. And, um, well, you know, I got armed <laughs> for, uh, for, um, for, for that also. I'm very interested in, in the subject, uh, also in the light that, um, well, you know, all the challenges which uh, we are facing uh, today, which are really big opportunities for Tudor, for your department here, for each one of you individually in these projects, I don't, don't, uh, it doesn't make any sense to mention them, but you know them. Uh, but I think there are really big opportunities ahead of us, and so I wish you a fruitful day. Thank you very much. <laughs>